Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this one, this one's a bit kind of strange ish. Uh, it's quite useful if you've got a few old servers but a few new server rails. Um, in my case, I've got a PowerEdge 2850 and a 2650 but the only rails that I could get hold of well, for free were the rails for the 2950s now they don't actually fit with um, these things here so what I've done is I've modified the rails just by drilling a few holes and now they fit the old servers so these this is an untouched side and as you can see these haven't got any holes in them it's just the standard as they come but this one I have just modified so there's a hole there next to that one and a hole there but there isn't a hole there the reason for this is because this one at the front is the locking mechanism which stops the server sliding out of the rails and holds it in place now if we look at the 2850 they come with these nuts on and they can easily be undone with a special tool which I'll show you in a minute you could use a spanner I suppose but when, they, when you've undone them you get these little bits that stick out with a thread on them and all you have to do is find out what drill bit you need and line up the holes so that those pins where is it? over here line up with these holes here uh, the special tool you need is, is just a socket like that so you could use a spanner or you can use that kind of socket um, you will need drill bits so I've got a small one here for piloting holes and over here I have a bigger one which is just slightly bigger than the screw and I'm just using a hand drill to give me a little bit more control on speeds and how fast I want it to go angles, things like that it would be quicker than an electric drill but I'd rather have the control and not mess the whole thing up because then I've got to start on a new set of rails and I won't have pairs anymore so the size of them two drill bits Oh, I'll get my case over. A was that? That's a 55 or a 35. But I'm not entirely sure what the measurement actually is. If you were to, I don't know. 55 and 35. 35 being the smallest, 55 being the biggest. Uh, you'll need a permanent marker. These are the ones I just use for marking DVDs. And a file that is rounded like that just for taking the edges off and filing through the holes. Now with the set that I pre-drilled I can show you how it just fits on nicely. So the first thing is to get that bit clipped into there like that and then these holes will just line up like that and the back hole might just need a little bit of persuading where is it? where's the back hole? can't really see there and you might just want to bang that down a little bit and that holds it in. So the only reason that these nuts here 
are there so that they slot into these holes so it just slides these bits are purely to hold the server into the rail and secure it so what we can do is this is the only nut that we can put back on so you end up with two spare nuts but if you just screw it on round the other way that will help hold it using your tool again screw it back on and that keeps the server rail secure enough to hold the server and the back one doesn't really matter it just holds and supports the weight of the server so that's how we modify the old, the new rails to fit an old server without you having to go out and buy some new rails for about 35 quid for say 2850 so if we want to re... actually I'm going to stop this video and then I'll just show you how I mark it out and the best way that I found doing it. See you in a bit. So, welcome back. And I have swapped the server round to the right hand side. Uh, this is a little tip so you know which way round the rails go without having to physically put them up to the server. You've got a front and a L to show you which way around they go at the front of the slidey bit of the rail. Now, we are going to be doing the left side. I know I said the right side. I thought I was doing the right side next, but it's the left side. Anyhow, it's hard with one hand, but what we want to do is, you see we got the nuts there, already on the server. So, we need to leave the front nut do not touch that one. We don't need to get take that one off. But these two, we do. So, as I said a little bit before, get your special tool that looks like that. Match one up. This is a 10 millimeter CV something R. We don't know what CVR is, but it says it's 10 millimeter. So undo these screws and make sure you keep them in a safe place because you will want to put them back especially the two ones that we are not going to be utilising just in case you do eventually decide to get some 2850 rails because you found them cheap somewhere and you didn't want to use your modified rails blah 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 so now we've taken them two screws off all we want to do is just have a match up so, slide this one on so it locks, and then just look at how this lines up against the pre-cut holes on the rails and where the actual holes will need to be drilled there. Now what I've noticed with each rail that I've done for the 2650s and the 2850s that we will be getting rid of some of this code here, so if you need that write it down and as you can see here that's how they line up against the pre-cut holes like that so the next thing you can kind of scrape this along just scrape it so that the uh, screws dent into the rails but that can lead to misleading hole cutting and you having to file away because the metal is so hard to cut another hole it is slightly aggravating so just undo your clip again like that and take it out and then this is hard with one hand because the server rail is so heavy slide it round so that this would effectively match up to uh, where it was held and then with one hand if you're filming which I am hold that there and then match them up that side now by eye you want to line that hole uh, the uh, screw up with the middle of uh, see if I can get my reflection of my finger in there that bit there where my finger's moving the whole pre-cut hole you want to measure that up by eye or with a ruler however much you like to do it to 
middle so you can screw the right hole and of course on that one as well using a marker pen I use red it's really easy to see I will not show you marking it because I've run out of hands if I was an octopus that would be amazing but I'm not so I am going to mark a hole and then we'll get to the next part of the video right welcome back I have marked where I want to cut the holes you can see that there's a little bit of a dent where I moved the servo rail so that it would mark the metal and I've used that also as a guideline to as where I think the hole needs to be now when I was marking it you see you do not want to go straight for the middle of that mark it needs to be it should be a little bit off because the mark will be a little bit off because you're marking it on the edge of the screw if that makes any sense to any of you people um, we also have another one there so that's the only two we need to drill remember do not drill the first one because we were using that to secure the server if you do that your server will fall out as you pull it out and you might end up without a foot or something that would not be very nice um, also when you're drilling this hole I would suggest having some way of instantly sucking away all of the burrs that come off when drilling because if you let them into the ball bearings there it will make it feel a little bit grainy and it will make a funny noise it still works because I managed to do it and it still works but I recommend just sticking the hoover next to it or maybe if you want to stick the hairdryer next to it and blow them away something like that just to remove them before they spill into the ball bearings when you've marked your hole you want to get your small drill bit to make the initial pilot hole because you will not be able to use the big drill that one straight away uh, it may slip everywhere it's just easier with this and a little bit more control I'm sure you guys know this if you already been drilling before drill a pilot hole first and the metal is very very tough it can take a little bit of a while just to get through maybe one one mil worth of metal so I'm not going to show me show me drilling. Um, I'll say this is the end of the video now. I hope this has helped for anyone that wants to use any incompatible rails and then make them compatible, especially these uh, rails for the two 950s, which is a nine series server. Well, that's the end of the video. And comment if you really want to. I don't care. Goodbye.